All right, good Thursday. Stress test morning. Um, let's see, a lot of things, a lot of uh, news this morning. As uh, when I when I left here Tuesday, the uh, futures were trading 9:02. We just hit 9:29.50. So uh, the the bolt continues. Cisco says uh, things are getting better. Sonny John Chambers says uh, people are buying more and feeling better. No numbers to it, but uh, typical uh, Chambo. Gut feel, so, you know, trying to talk uh, the business up here. He's coming on TV right here as we speak. Um, ECB cuts rates. Uh, Bank of England buys another 75 billion in bonds. GM loses six billion, which is not as bad as they had thought it would be, but they spent more cash than they were given. So, all that is being perceived as good news. Stress tests are leaking out. Banks need more money. Also, is good news. Bad news is good news. Continues to be the mantra. So, if you have bad news, come with it for gosh sakes right now because your your stock will behave uh, appropriately. It is a it is a opposite market. And I read something this morning from a Goldman analyst that was dead on that uh, volatility and um, volume aren't what they used to be. They're really ineffectual right here watching them. They're not good indicators and I would have to totally agree. Technicals in general are not uh, uh, good to watch right now. We are a boiling pot of water with frogs being tossed in right now. And that was his uh, analogy, and I'm going to use that this morning. Uh, it is dead on. Uh, whether whether the pot is hot or cold, we're moving up and down all in sync right now. doesn't matter what you own. Again, all assets are inflating right now, which is exactly what the printing of money will do for you. And they're printing more money. And when I mean they, the ECB prints more money today by lowering rates. The Bank of England prints more money by buying more bonds. So we're getting further in debt, and the only people uh, out there even concerned about this are squawking. You, uh, I've read something about the uh, former Czech head uh, saying that uh, he's happy to see the U.S. is on the road to hell, I think was his quote. And um, so and he's dead on with uh, saying, you know, hey, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say what I said because this is... Uh, it's insane what's going on, the printing of money that's uh, just being rampant. Uh, so we are trying to uh, print our way to reflation. Who knows if it will lead to hyper, hyper inflation, but uh, it's, uh, government is taking control of uh, banks. It is taking control of companies. And uh, as a capitalist, you, you can't enjoy what you're seeing out here, but uh, that's where we are. So pivot right now this morning is around 9.0. Yeah, we're way down there. So we're about 16 points, uh, 16 to 20 points above the pivot as we come into the open. Have yourself a great trading day. We are uh, again now up 41 percent from the lows. 660 to, to uh, 925, 930 is uh, 270 points, which is 41 percent. So we're up 41 percent now in exactly two months, March 8th to May 8th. Not a bad return. Folks, if you think that's going to continue for another two months, hey, who knows, anything's possible in a, in a uh, boiling pot of water market. But uh, I, I sure would be careful chasing this uh, long side. It's feeling long in the tooth. I did say if we went over 870, we'd probably see 950. So uh, we're right on target here, uh, pushing right up to this 950 very quickly. Again, these mirrored moves happen. The 70, 70 points, 940, 950 is our target, and we're just about there. So again, I would be careful. Uh, I would uh, be careful chasing any rallies here, uh, especially um, with the incidents of, of in rate that we.